All right, welcome back here, Kentucky Neck Beard here. Uh, we're gonna do a little driving, talk about what's going on. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about Kentucky's uh, OC, physical coordinator search. We're gonna talk a little bit about a little what's going on down here in Louisville. Uh, you know, uh, we're even gonna talk a little bit about the Kentucky Iowa Bowl matchup, which is a rematch from last year's uh, Citrus Bowl. And let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, I'm just going to start with Louisville because I hate Louisville. Uh, you know, it was it Monday morning, I guess it was? Um, it kind of started circling around. And Scott Satterfield's name was in Cincinnati's uh, head coaching job uh, list. Uh, and he was expected to take it. Uh, and then they were, you know, Cincinnati and Scott Satterfield were working on uh, working a deal. And... Uh, you know, not, not even a, maybe a couple hours after I heard that, uh, it was it was kind of confirmed by Cincinnati announcing uh, Scott Satterfield had taken their job. Uh, you know, me personally, when I first heard about it, the only thing in my mind was, what the fuck, Cincinnati? Because uh, I, I feel Lova was the big winner here. Scott Scott uh, Scott Satterfield can't he can't uh, recruit he can't even beat Kentucky uh, and you know this is this was a year he probably had his best shot at beating Kentucky uh, and you know he's just you know they they were they were seven to five coming in Kentucky uh, was six and six uh, I mean at, at middle of the pack SEC football team. Uh, I mean, Louisville's is still what? Like, I think they were top five this year in the ACC. Uh, but you know, I thought Cincinnati was a big loser here. Uh, I mean, good luck to them. I mean, but coming off a, a playoff berth a year ago, and them taking Scott Satterfield, yeah, I don't really know the whole point behind this. Uh, but Scott Satterfield had been looking to get out of Louisville for years. Technically, he was fired, uh, going to be fired last year by Vince Tyrant at, at Louisville. And the president said no. I mean, it was so bad. Scott Satterfield was going to get fired. They had Jeff Brum on the way down to accept the, the head coaching job. And the president said no, which led to Louisville firing uh, Louisville's AD. Uh, actually uh, putting his resignation in and then the president goes and leaves and it goes to like Penn State or something. I don't know. I mean uh, and then this year uh, you know a couple not long after you know, a year after he took the job at Louisville two years after he took the job at Louisville something like that uh, when Shane Beamer was hired Scott Saffer went and interviewed for South Carolina uh I mean, so this boy's been looking for a way out of Louisville forever. I, I, I mean, for the most part, nobody wants to be here in Louisville. I mean, their basketball, uh, men's basketball programs are like their fifth coach in the last five or six years. Uh, their football teams now are like their third or fourth coach in the last couple of years. Uh, I, I mean, nobody wants to be in Louisville. Uh, but, you know, then, then today, we're going to fast forward to today. Uh, a little, it kind of, it broke kind of early again. Jeff Brown was in talks with Louisville, uh, working out a deal, and maybe an hour after I heard that, Je I heard that Jeff Brown had taken the job. They had the deal. Uh, apparently, it's going to be worth like six, uh, six years, thirty-five million. Um, I think this is actually a really good thing for the Kentucky Louisville football series. Uh, Jeff Brum is a really good football coach. Obviously, he played at Louisville, uh, quarterback. He also was uh, I don't know he's a quarterback coach, but I want to say he even was OC under uh, Bobby Petrino. Uh, you know Brian Brum is expected to come with him, which is Jeff's younger brother who also played. Uh, Football University of Louisville, but I, I actually know him because he played football against my high school. Uh, Brian Brum did. 
Ryan Brown went to Trinity High School here in Louisville. Uh, and so, I, I mean, but I mean, congratulations to Louisville, man. This is a big hire for them. Um, I think it's actually going to work out for them this time. Uh, I think it, I think it's actually an excellent hire. Uh, it's going to make the, like I said, I was saying, UK UVL series better. I, I don't see the blowouts happening anymore. I think the gap between Kentucky and Louisville is going to close. I think Louisville is going to start getting more in-state recruits. And yeah, it's a bad thing for Kentucky. Um, but you also got to remember, Kentucky and Louisville probably only going to play two more years. Because uh, SEC is expanding, and Oklahoma and Texas are going to join the conference. And, and uh, we're going to nine conference games. And and from everything I've heard, the Louisville Kentucky football series is in trouble and is in jeopardy uh, with this happening. Um, but I, I, I mean, congrats to Louisville. But uh, move it'll, it'll go. We're going to move on from this. Uh, you know, Kentucky. It's been kind of rumored for like the probably last three or four days that. Uh, Liam Cohen is our guy. The only thing holding it up, apparently, is can Liam Cohen get out of his Rams contract? Because he's the offensive coordinator there. Um, I mean, I would love to see Liam Cohen come back to home um, at Kentucky. I, I mean, he had one good year here before he went back to the Rams and became the offensive coordinator. Uh, I mean, can't blame him for leaving. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. I even said that I would welcome him back. Oh, you know, welcome him back with open arms. If he ever wanted to come back, uh, and, and I mean, so that's our kind of a go-to. That's our number one prospect right now, the OC job. But apparently, from what I've heard. Is today, if it don't happen today, that probably isn't going to happen. Um, I don't know how true that is. I think Kentucky should wait on uh, announcing Liam going. Maybe we can make a deal. Uh, where, you know, because apparently one thing's holding it up is because he's the offensive coordinator, he can't just leave in season at the Rams. Uh, he has to wait till the season ends. Uh, so me personally, why don't we just go ahead and hire him? Say we got our guy, but just don't make the announcement. Or we don't even say we got the guy. I mean, you're just telling recruits. That's the main reason we need this office coordinator. It's for recruiting purposes. Um, I'm just going to tell you because I'm driving. I, I'm not going to remember all these names either. Uh, but since I last talked to you guys... Cavazier Smoke has entered the transfer portal. Uh, Keaton Upshaw has entered the transfer portal. Uh, Mike Drennan, uh, like our four-string running back, entered the transfer portal. Uh, Rashawn Lewis, Ray Lewis' son, entered the transfer portal. Uh, I, I rumor it's today. We don't. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. I ain't kept up with it as I'm just now on my way home from work. I haven't looked recently, uh, but. Justin Rogers has like a little bit of a, a tweet that might be sending some uh, transfer portal waves. Um, Chris Lewis did enter the transfer portal. John Young, an offensive lineman, uh, he's in the transfer portal for Kentucky. Um, he was a big time recruit for us. Um, but that's all. That's all on top of my head I can remember. Uh, that's left so far. Um, but what we're looking at, though, is I, I last talked to you guys. You know, we were talking about uh, McNamara, who done committed to Iowa, went from Michigan to Iowa. Um, I've heard, right now, the big one is Graham Mertz from Wisconsin. Uh, I, I don't know how serious that is. Uh, I mean, I I would like to see it. Uh, I mean, I especially would like to see if it's Liam Cohen as OC. Uh, he's a good quarterback coach. 
Uh, he's a good, you know, he had one good year at uh, OC, so, I mean, I'm going off that. Uh, you know, uh, there's a couple other ones. Uh, Card from Texas. I can't think of his first name, but Card from Texas it is also a, a potential quarterback transfer. Um, we also uh, are looking at Vanderbilt's running back, I know for sure. I can't think of his name right now. Uh, Vaughn keeps popping in my head, but I don't think it's right. Um, but, and he's, from what I said, he's kind of leaning towards Kentucky already. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I mean he, he put 129 yards up on us. Uh, yeah, he was a 1,000 yard rusher this year. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, it would be nice to have that, that running back. Um, we we're also looking at looking at a couple of uh, old linemen. Uh, one's from uh, Northern Illinois, I know for sure. Uh, we're, uh, we've, we've offered a uh, offensive lineman from uh, Alabama. One of their transfers. He's originally from Bowling Green. Uh, I also know. We're looking at Alabama. Uh, I can't think of his name. I can't. I don't know. Maybe not even pronounce it. I know it starts with a K. First name starts with a K. Uh, but also a corner from uh, Alabama. And. Uh, but I mean, that's about it. Uh, that I can think of. Portal wise, you know, going out and coming in, uh, kind of the big names right now. Uh, if I remember, I'll try to put the, I'll try to find the name for y'all. Uh, Chuck's fucking terrible. I actually left work a little earlier. Uh, but on to the bowl game. Uh, it's Kentucky versus Iowa in the Big City Bowl. Uh, I would like to go down to the game, but I. Tickets are kind of pricey. Um, I'm not one of the fans that are, you know, uh, wanting to stay home because I want to watch the basketball game, too. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Kentucky versus Louisville, uh, same time, but uh, basketball game. But, I mean, who cares? Uh, look, right now, Louisville's 0-8. They might have one or two wins when they come in. Um, but, I mean, Louisville looks like complete shit. Uh, I, I mean, I like I like the Kentucky basketball team, the players. My, I, I have – well, my problem is I hate Cal. So, I mean, that's just my thing. I mean, I still watch the games. I still pull for Kentucky. I mean, I still bleed blue. I just I, – I just, I just don't think Cal should be the coach. Um, but I might get on a basketball tangent. Um uh, it did kind of come out. We don't know who's going to be the quarterback yet. Um, from everything I'm understanding, it's like very unlikely uh, Will Levis plays in the bowl game. Um, and, and it's probably going to be Kaya Sharon, who's, or, or Kaya, Kaya Sharon, I think is actually how it's pronounced, uh, who's going to play for us, start the game at least. Um, I don't know. Everybody's talking about we hope to God we you know hope hopefully we can see. Uh, I get them mixed up. What's Destin Wade and um, I can't think of those dudes. I can't think of his brother's name, but uh, I hope to see. I, everybody kind of hope to see the Wade quarterback play. Um, the linebackers already playing. Uh, he plays some. He plays a small role and he's played some big plays this year. Uh, some big downs, anyways. Uh, but I mean, also we can maybe Deuce Hogan. Um, but offensive coordinator wise, Stutz has pretty much said that it's going to be uh, a, a group effort. Who's going to be uh, doing the offense? From, from everything I'm understanding, uh, Coach Woody is actually going to be Coach Woodward is actually going to be the offensive coordinator, the one with the title. Um, you know, Stoops kind of made a comment the other day about one of the an uh, analysts being the offensive coordinator for the game. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of going all over the place. Um, 
And of course, Iowa, their their number one quarterback's out for the year. The first string quarterback, and their second string quarterback's already in the transfer portal. So they're gonna be playing with their third string quarterback. Um and of course they got a, they got one of the top defenses in the nation. Uh once again. And, and it just I, I I don't you know, I think the over under I think I heard is thirty one points. Um A lot of people are saying this is going to be a very low-scoring game, kind of boring. Um, it's possible because Kentucky's got it. For most of the year, Kentucky was ranked top 15 in defense. Uh, the offense just didn't do nothing. Uh, so this could be a defensive game. Uh, I, I just – me personally, I'm kind of feeling a, a – a, like a 20 – in a game in the 20s. Uh, so, like, the over-under part, I would take the over. <laughs> You know, I don't know how Hubbard said sure. You know, I was going to score. You know, I was probably not going to score either, though. Uh, I, I, I do think Kentucky's going to get in the 20s in this game. Uh, I mean, I'm not getting my prediction yet. I'm going to wait till later on when everything's kind of announced, who's playing and who's not. Uh, I kind of have a feeling Chris Rocket, uh, Chris C. Rod, Chris Rodriguez is going to play in this game. Um, he needs like 240 yards. To get the the a record, and uh, I I I, so I, I kind of think he's gonna play. Fucking traffic though, ah, damn. Uh, so, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, kind of all the updates. Um. So, I mean, anyways, guys, I'm gonna get off here and concentrate on this flipping traffic. Uh. You know, the game ain't already done, so hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button, give me a like, share with your friends, your buddies, uh, and, and, and as always, leave a comment down at the bottom. Peace. Go Cats.